How do you actually have a democracy when tens of millions of people have been convinced that their vote doesn't count and that the entire thing is a sham? That's a major, major story. It felt like our reporting had helped to expose some of the most dangerous figures in the white supremacist scene. I began receiving death threats, even as the group splintered, changed their names, and were hit with lawsuits. But one group did continue to take to the streets, participating in rallies in Portland, Oregon, the Proud Boys. USA! There were a ton of challenges for us as reporters working this whole time. Uh, the events that we went to were violent. We were often wearing body armor or wearing ballistic helmets or both. A lot of the people that we interviewed came to the interviews armed. Uh, a lot of the events that we were at, people were carrying guns or um, preparing for violence. People that have won these awards are all heroes to me. So to me, it's very, it's very important and very exciting award.